Good morning church. This is the morning devotion for today. I am looking at two scripture verses, one from the old and one from the new, which seem to be saying the same things. And it's interesting to see what both these writers have to say. Psalm 4.4, for example, says, Be angry, but do not sin. Meditate with your heart on your bed and be still. The same verse is quoted by Paul in the New Testament in Ephesians 4 verse 26. He says, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Now, you know very well that we get angry at times for various things. Either somebody has said something or somebody, something has happened in the day. And as a result, we can be upset and that upset, that anger can prolong right through the end of the day and can even go on for days if it is left unchecked. <clears throat> so, uh, firstly, let us be clear that there is a legitimate place for anger, which God calls as righteous anger. That's an anger which he inspires in us when we come face to face with something that is morally wrong or incorrect or unjust and he stirs up a holy righteous anger within us so that we might be moved to do something about it. The other kind of anger is one that springs up from our flesh and we call that in a way fleshly anger which is negative and that's an anger which is not inspired by God but which stirs and springs up from our own hearts because we are perhaps being overwhelmed, overcome by it. And such an anger, being from the flesh, focuses on punishing the offender very often, rather than the offense. And that's the, that's the big difference. So it's very, it's understandable why the psalmist is cautioning us about anger. Because it's quite possible most of the time we may be having the unrighteous one. So he says, <clears throat> in the psalm, he says, Psalm 444, meditate on your heart. Before you are in bed or while you are in bed, which means when it is bedtime, you are about to sleep. Don't uh, let the anger consume you so that it robs your peace and disturbs your sleep. Paul is saying the same thing. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. This does not mean that till the sun goes down, we can remain angry. No, he is trying to say, resolve the issue, resolve the anger, get it out of your system before it becomes bedtime. In both the Psalm and in Ephesians 4.26, both are referring to the time before you get onto your bed. Before the sun sets, which is again bedtime, so to speak. So there is an interesting thought here. Uh, we know that God is the one who gives us sleep. To his beloved, he gives sound sleep. And we may not realize it, but the night time when we go onto the bed to have some sleep and rest, it is that time when God spreads the curtain of darkness around us so that he may shut us in with himself. It is not a bodily stillness alone when the psalmist says be still. It's not a bodily stillness alone, but a much needed spiritual rest also. You see, we cannot help going to sleep because God makes us to go to sleep. If it were not for him, <clears throat> who would shut out all anxious thoughts, all worries, all anger motives, and all the 101 things of the day that trouble us or uh, overwhelm us. If it were not for him who came to us in the night time and shut out all those things, drawing a curtain of darkness around our minds, so to speak, so that we might forcibly go to sleep, we would be in a mess. Because while we are sleeping, when we are shut down, 
when the system has shut down as it were and when your brains have stopped to take rest it is at that time that restoration takes place restoration in the mind in the brain cells the activity of the brain restoration in the soul the spiritual life of the person everything goes to into a rest mode so that god can minister to his child whatever is needed for him or her so that when we wake up the next day we feel rested and we are ready to go with god for a new day his mercy is being new every morning so <clears throat> uh why are they why us the psalmist and paul referring to this bedtime or this sunset time you see because that's the time when if we don't resolve the anger both the psalmist and saint paul says that be angry but do not sin of course they are referring to righteous anger but if it should not be the righteous anger he says yes you might get caught up in an angry moment but he says resolve it because if it is fleshly anger it will disrupt the sleep your peace will go out of the window and you will get up the next morning more irritable and grouchy than ever this happens to all of us so often and so what both of them are saying is before you sleep meditate on the lord meditate on him be still before him there is nothing that needs to uh, occupy our minds with so much anxiety that we should not be able to sleep if we are not able to sleep and if our minds are whirling and continuously working with anxious thoughts angry thoughts and so on we will become a physical and spiritual mess we will become mad by the next day and if it goes on for days and weeks you can imagine the plight of that poor person god doesn't want us to be that way he designed us to be fit and rested so that he can do his work in and through us and for that it is so necessary to get a sound night's sleep so paul says and the psalmist says be angry if you must but do not let it go unresolved before you get to sleep because once you get to sleep and your mind and your whole body shuts down then the restoration process and working of god begins all that is built in within us by the way and that begins to heal and restore us but if we have anger in our hearts that is unresolved then that will rob our peace and that will disrupt the much needed sleep and we can end up more crabity than the previous day and we will be robbed of our rest and fruitfulness in the lord thank you father thank you for this word and we ask you that even though it's morning already uh, help us to understand this thought properly so that we might be able to give up everything that's not of you before we get to bed tonight god thank you jesus